rally goers come to the Black Hills for a fun vacation. One biker, though, made his trek to the Buffalo Chip Cam Campground on a mission to break a world record. Good for him. New Center One Today's Anya Mueller has more from the Buffalo Chip. Anya, good morning. Well, good morning, Eric and Elizabeth. I'm here at the legendary Buffalo Chip Campground in Sturgis, where for 74 years they have been hosting motorcyclists from all over the world. And the other day I got the chance to catch up with one very interesting character. Beaner has been coming to the Buffalo Chip during the Sturgis Rally since 1990. This year he decided to try and break the Guinness World Book of Records for the longest journey on a minibike. Beaner's ride began in Louisville, Kentucky and nine days and over 1,400 miles later he arrived at the Buffalo Chip. The trip, he said, was no easy task on a minibike which has the engine capacity of a lawnmower. It was a long, long journey. I've rode uh almost a million miles of my life on motorcycles so i thought I, it was no big deal and those little mini bikes are very uncomfortable i don't recommend it it looks fun in dumb and dumber the movie but in real life it's not so fun <laughs> Beaner is waiting the results of the truck, but thinks that he made the record books, and not without some minor setbacks. I, I felt it was lucky. There was only one day of bad weather, and I was coming across Iowa, the Midwest, famous for their thunderstorms, and we were in and out of thunderstorms, and at one point there was a funnel cloud, and I said, I think we can outrun it. And that kind of set the pace. <laughs> His other goal was to inspire people to take a chance and live their dreams. So many people put stuff off and they want to do it, but time and money always keeps them from doing it. Follow those dreams. You want to do it? Get here. Come here. Get on your motorcycle and ride. One Beaner has traveled the world and you can find more about him on our website at newcenter1.tv. Back to you guys in the studio. Well, thank you, Anya. And of course, the Midwest, famous for our weather. The Black Hills, famous for our hail. <laughs> Luckily, we haven't seen a whole lot of that. But Beaner, he seems like a, a real neat guy. A go-getter, I kind of like sure. that Evil Knievel suit. <laughs> if anyone has one, I will not wear a bow tie tomorrow. I'll wear an Evil Knievel suit. All right, for there you go.